Hi, this is Peggy with Natural Awakening Chicago Magazine, and I want to welcome you back as we continue our series of Women in Wellness. All month, we're talking with some amazing women healthcare practitioners and wellness practitioners in the Chicagoland area, and I'm so happy today to be talking to Erica Cody. Erica is the founder of Northwest Healing Center in Lake Barrington, and she specializes in thermography and other scanning as well as some other things we'll be discussing to help women identify health issues closer to the start of the dysfunction and then avoid medical emergencies down the road. So welcome, Erica. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy. So great to talk with you. And I'd like to get started today with the question, what is thermography? What's a great question? Is it? Yeah. What is it? What does it do? So thermography, thermal imaging helps us get a picture of our health. It helps give us an idea of um, are we in homeostasis or are we not in homeostasis? Meaning? So if we are not in homeostasis, and I'll, I'll take a big example because, you know, it plagues a lot of us women, estrogen dominance. Mm. So estrogen dominance is something that can really wreak havoc on our bodies and our health. And with thermography, it is easy for us to see the pattern of the presence of estrogen dominance. So that helps give direction on where a person needs to focus to be healthier, to have have optimal health. So how does a thermography scan work? If somebody comes to see you for thermography, what's the process and and how does it work? Well, Thermography has to be a by appointment only because there's a lot of prep work that we have to do ahead of time. So, you know, there's a lot of do's and don'ts with thermography. So when somebody schedules um, either online or if they call me, then I, I uh, send them an email that has like the intake paperwork and it tells them the do's and the don'ts. Like don't have hot drinks or work out within two hours of a thermal scan and or get like chiropractic adjustments or acupuncture Hmm. within 24 hours because we want your body to be giving us a true picture thermal picture of what's going on so once they um come in for the appointment Mm -hmm. uh, we go by region so there's a few different packages that we do just to fit the needs of of, you know, people coming for help to figure out what's going on with them. This could be any part of the body. Yeah, well, we do specifically breast studies is how we started, like, is the main focus. But we've quickly learned, um, in order to fully assess the breast health, we need to start at the head. Hmm. So what's going on in the head could very well affect our breast health through um, the lymphatic system, lymphatic um, congestion, Mm -hmm. then pulling at the breast. So uh, when somebody comes in, the typical package that we do would be the half body, or uh, we'll talk soon about the women's health check, which I'm really excited that we're finally rolling that out. Um, We start at the head region. We do a set of imaging um, fronts, laterals, and then back. And then we move on to the breast region. There's a set of six images for the breast region, including the back, because the back can play a part in uh, breast health and figuring out if there's something going on. Okay. Or so, the stomach, digestion. And uh, that helps give us an indication if there might be dysfunction in other things like you know, gallbladder, liver, spleen, um, cardiac health. So what are you looking for in a thermography scan? Is it seeking out um, heat areas in the body or what's an indicator of some possible dysfunction or disease? Actually, it's actually it's looking for asymmetric heat or too much cold. Hmm. So if one part of the body, an example, a real great example that we have um, with our in our thermography, we have this one standard view of a lady with her arms out where she's standing full. Um, and there's a, she's perfectly symmetrical, except for she had tennis elbow. Hmm. Her right arm 
you can see it's warm where the left arm is cool. So when we're looking at, say if we're doing the breast region, mm -hmm. your right side is your comparative to your left side. Because I can't compare to you, you can't compare to me. We're our own comparative. So if there's differences, there's reasons why. And so what we want to try to help sort out is why. You know, is it estrogen dominance? Is it a calcification? Is it possibly pathology? And so what we are, thermography does, is we're the start of the process. We're not the end of the process. We're not the cure. We're the, this is where we need to look. So as we were preparing the talk today, and um, as we were working on the women in wellness feature, you were explaining to us the importance of having a baseline so that future scans could be compared. And um, so do you recommend people come in early before there's any sign of a disease or any, any symptoms? Absolutely. And I get a lot of young women um, and a few men actually come in and they want to baseline where they're at when they're young and healthy and everything's great. It, so that further on down the road, you always have it to compare to. Where's the change? Where's the indication of dysfunction? Um, so we have a lot of people that will do that while they're perfectly healthy. And I've actually experienced having patients that have had, had developed issues. Mm -hmm. And then they've, you know, through whatever mean, you know, some of them choose the uh, standard medical, some of them choose holistic, holistic health, but it doesn't matter which choice they make, we can follow them and help them see, is it changing? Is it improving or is it not improving? Mm -hmm. Do we, you know, it's time to make another decision. And this so, is a diagnostic tool. Yeah. As you said, it's not the end point, but it's right. some of the, the input. It's the guide. It's the help. Is this working? Is it not working? And I recently had a, had one particular patient. I love her. I love them all, but she, so I've spent a lot of time with her. So I've become connected and um, actually been able to sit back and watch her scans change mm. and improve. Oh, good. It, that, you know, I, I feel just absolutely blessed to be a part of her journey and to see the joy in her face yeah. when she saw that there's improvement. So you've had quite a journey yourself to get to this point um, of doing the scans and, and running Northwest Healing Center. And one of the things that I find fascinating is your engineering approach, your background that lets you kind of take a trained, very methodical diagnostic process. Exactly. Um, so I don't, I didn't come into where I'm at right now from the medical side. Uh, I was a mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. what I did prior to meeting my now late husband. And you know, when we were together uh, in our marriage, I helped in the uh, chiropractic office because he was a pediatric chiropractor. So I took my, like my engineering thought process. I learned how to use it like on figuring out, you know, the body and how it works together and what, how this can affect that. That's why earlier when I met, mentioned, we really noticed the huge impact that your oral health has on your breast and your heart. And everything. And everything. But knowing where to look for the start of dysfunction is the gift that thermography gives us to be able to see it. Yeah. And it's a it's a application, let's say, of technology that really seems to be giving an insight. Yes. Yeah. So so you're doing thermography and I also am seeing AO scan behind you. That's yes, a and I also use the AO scan. I'm one of the few practitioners that actually use the two together. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's my engineering brain that went, hmm, this can help me see more here and here. Like together, the two of them um, help give a really great picture on what's going on. What's yeah. Going on. yeah. Yes. So one of the questions I've been asking everybody, and it's some of the answers have been what you'd anticipate and some haven't a little bit over the last year year and a half 
um, as everything has changed, yeah. people have been paying different attention to their health and shifting focuses and, and in some cases, women more or less. What, what are you seeing as far as what people are doing now for their health? What's changed? I actually, in the last few months, have had a lot of women come to me and say, okay, I need to focus on me now. Well, us women, we typically will take care of everyone in front of us. And um, now I, I see this big shift right now of women going, okay, I need to take a pause and find out what do I need to focus on? What do I need to be healthier? You know, I always remind them, you know, if mama ain't happy. <laughs> so yes, it's not selfish to take care of yourself. And um, I've seen a, a big uptick in that and I, I think that's great yeah. what about um alternative therapies less invasive as where's that sitting today as far as what people are doing i think people are really understanding that now i think that they're really understanding you know um i get asked a lot about mammograms and i will wholeheartedly so tell people i will never tell you not to get a mammogram and i don't go against them what I say, unless there is an indication to go deeper with those other screenings, start mm -hmm. with least invasive. Yeah. That's all. So I'm here for those actually that can't, like a lot of people with breast implants do not want to get a mammogram or flat out won't. Yeah. Here to be there for them. So what's next for Northwest Healing Center? You, you hinted at well, some great new programs being released. This is actually a very exciting time for me um, and with thermography in the thermography world. So recently I actually completed an advanced training course, um, which I, I was <laughs> waiting for over three years to take. And, you know, with co of course COVID didn't help, but they finally launched this advanced advanced training. And now we've learned that thermography has grown to the point where now it's helping further for helping people that have been injured and, and possibly have legal um, cases going on to show their radiating pain or show their injury. So that's pretty exciting that we can do that for them. So a um, couple of the other things we talked about of, of coming up a women's health check that you're going to be launching. Yes, yes, that's one a wonderful new package that they've put together. They've specialized it um, for women. Mm -hmm. It's a, a different, a little bit of a different uh, reporting system that they're doing, where it actually gives you a percentage on what your risk is for uh, developing um, breast pathology and other diseases. So it's actually focusing on the thyroid, which we done that before but now um, in the women's health check we will actually come in close and focus on the thyroid and so we can get an idea on that so it's really exciting uh, it, I think this is great for women because it gives them a measured uh, report where say they get their report they start making changes when they come back for their rescan we can see where they're at. They have, they improved their health. Yeah. Wonderful. And then we were also talking earlier as we were preparing about mobile health. People can come to your office in Lake Barrington, but you'll also be able to be in other practitioner offices plus some yeah. mobile health. I have some wonderful offices that I currently already work out of. Okay. Like um, I have a, one in Oak Park, uh, Watson Chiropractic another amazing practice. So I work with her and I work with some other practitioners. And in addition to that, um, I am working with some other people about developing a mobile unit mm -hmm. and go into health disparity communities and offer the services at reduced, if not free, if we can manage that to help those that need, but can't get and don't have access to. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's my side. This is what I would really love to be able to put together. Great. Well, I would ask one final question then. Um, 
What advice would you give to women today as we're heading into the summer on their own health and their health care and wellness in general? Don't feel bad about taking time to focus on it. Like if, if we take care of us, our family's going to follow along mm-hmm. leaders, but also, you know, don't feel bad, bad for taking the time to figure out where you're at and what you need to be healthier. Oh, great. That's my biggest thing. Excellent advice. Well, thank you so much, Erica. I've enjoyed talking with you today. If people want to reach out to you, what's the best way to get in contact? They can go to my website, which is northwesthealingcenter.com. Or if they want to call, they have questions, please feel free to call me, 224-600-3216. Great. Well, thank you so much, Erica. You're welcome.